Today we are rebuilding a Sour Danfoss orbital steering motor. This one started off with the part number OSPM. Sour Danfoss makes a couple of other ones, um, but this one kind of stands alone and it takes a different seal kit than the other ones. On that cover plate you'll see some letters stamped, P, T, R, L, and then an E. The P and T are the number six O-ring face bolts that I just took out. It stands for pressure and tank. And then R and L are number four O-ring face, and they stand for right and left when you're steering. It's really important to mark this little steering motor when you're taking it apart. I usually use a paint marker and do like an upside down V so that when it's going back together all of the sections go back together nice and smooth and those bolts go right down. When you get to that bottom housing inside of one of those holes on the um, the one that was marked with a P, there's going to be a flat piece of metal and a little ball down inside of that groove. So you want to make sure that when you flip it over, you catch that and it doesn't go missing. There's always a lot of residual oil left in these things, so your hands are going to get a little dirty. That's the shaft that we will be resealing shortly. And right there. Don't lose those. The ball goes first and then the flat piece of metal goes on top of it. Now we're removing that first outer seal, just the wiper seal. I'm gonna take out the old one, clean up the groove, and put the new one in. Now we're gonna flip the housing over. There's the pressure seal. It's just got an O-ring on the outside of that blue piece of plastic. You don't wanna put it onto the shaft and then try to sho shove it into the groove because it just won't work. You wanna put the seal into the groove first, which isn't the easiest thing to do, but it goes eventually. Now we're going to go ahead and put that shaft back in. Um, you can see there's just a flat washer, a thrust bearing, and then another flat washer that go in along with the shaft. When you get it in the right spot, it does go really easy. You shouldn't have to like hit it with, well I mean I hit it with like the other end of a hammer, but <laughs> you shouldn't have to hit it with a hammer in order for it to go in. Um, there's something wrong, but see how easy that goes? Make sure it goes all the way down and it's flat with the housing. And then you're going to replace all of the O-rings on the housing. Make sure your grooves are nice and clean. And when I'm putting it back together, I like to, after every section, put a bolt in it and screw it down to make sure it's nice and tight and that it's going back together the right way.
And then there's just a couple more O-rings where the bolts sit. And also you probably want to change the flat face O-rings um, while you're in there. And that's it. Not much to it. Thanks for watching.